And, uh, welcome to the uh, Todd Engine, uh, next part in our series here on the restoration of the engine and the uh, construction of the Youngstown Steel Heritage Museum. Uh, back, in, back in 1914 when, this, uh, when the Todd Engine was built, uh, there wasn't much of an electrical grid in the U.S. Uh, pretty much each plant was making their own power, their own electrical power, and even the William Todd Company had a pair of Porter Hamilton engines that uh, produce their electricity, one producing the alternating current, one producing the direct current. Um, so I, I thought that as, a, as an interesting part of this museum project, that uh, we would try to do, to do the same thing. Uh, we could very easily you know, put in a line out to the road and then pay a monthly electric bill here, or we could do things a little bit more interesting and add to the educational aspect of the uh, of the site by producing our own electricity. Uh, fortunately, uh, in the last ten years that we've had this property, we've, we've not yet put in you know, put in an electric service out to uh, Ohio Edison. Uh, actually, we've been running on a, a little single cylinder Honda generator that's been back in the locomotive. That's what the, that's what's powering the lights right now, and that thing is pretty close to dying. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised it's lasts as long as it has, but hopefully it'll last a little while longer. So how we're going to how we're going to produce our own 120 volt and 240 volt single phase AC power here at the museum is by using this machine here. This is an 18 horsepower Fairbanks Morris ZC346 gas engine. It runs on either propane or natural gas. Uh, runs anywhere from 225 to 400 RPM, and it was used in the oil fields to run a pump jack. And uh, actually, the nameplate on it says it was built for the Continental Supply Company, which means that actually it does have some Youngstown significance in that Continental Supply was a wholly owned subsidiary of Youngstown Sheet 2, and it was a company that Sheet 2 used to to help sell their oil country tubular goods down in oil fields of Oklahoma and Texas and even up here in Pennsylvania. Um, so that, that's a little bit of local significance for this engine. Well how we're going to um, use this general electricity is that the engine, once it's running, um, and we've probably got, we got a little bit more work to do to get it operational. We've got to send the, the head out to have the, uh, the valves worked on. But once that comes back in, we get the engine running, I'll have it um, set up so it runs about 300 RPM. And at 300 RPM, we have to uh, increase that speed to 1800 for this 15 kW single phase generator here. So I have a uh, speed increaser, it's a four-speed gearbox, it came off of a 24-inch lathe, and belt driven from the engine to the speed increaser, increases speed to 1800 over to the generator here. Um, this engine's also, a game, also uh, equipped with a clutch, so that um, when you're first starting it up, starting it up cold, you can disengage the clutch, disengage the drive, uh, which is that much less um, you know, equipment that you have to get running. And then you just come and you start the engine as you, as you normally would start an oil field engine. And once it gets up to speed and running, then you pull the clutch in and it engages the drive, engages the engine or the, uh, the generator. And then using a transfer switch, we could then tie it into the, uh, into the breaker box and then we can run the lights in the building. Uh, we'll also be making 240 volt single phase um, we'll also have three phase power here using a phase, uh, phase converter, so I've got a drill press over here that will run with the phase converter, um, we may have a couple other items. So, you know, all told, we're only going to have about 60 amps of power, so is it, it isn't a lot, but uh, considering that all the lighting in here, uh, all the lights that are on now are 300, are 300 watt equivalent CFLs, which use about 68 watts of power each, and I've got about uh, eight or nine of them running now, and a little, you know, I'm, I'm drawing about 1,500 watts off the 3,000 watt generator in the back. So I don't think we'll be doing too bad power wise. And you know, the less the less power we need, you know, the, the less uh, fuel we're going to burn running this engine. 